Hello and welcome again everyone, TrekWorks here. Well, what I'm doing today is another product review that uh, will interest a lot of you modelers out there, especially Star Trek modelers. What you're looking at here is a, a nice little navigation and strobe light board from a company called Tenet Controls. Now these guys are out of Milford, Massachusetts. Uh, this kit here runs right around $39, so it's, uh, it's a nice price, uh, very uh, good price compared to some of the other navigation and stroll boards that I've seen out there. And Tenet Controls is widely known. They've been doing this stuff for quite a while now. They uh, specialize in a lot of sci-fi type stuff, uh, whether it's Star Trek, Star Wars, or lots of people out there for quite a while been using their uh, electronics equipment and a lot of their buildups, and they've gotten a really solid reputation. So I wanted to show you a little bit about what uh, is included in this kit. And as you can see here, first of all, you have there in the center, you have the little circuit board. Now this is a two-channel board. One, one side of the board controls the strobe lights, the other side of the board controls the uh, flashing navigation lights, and you can see by the size of it, it's pretty small compared to this bottle of Tester's Paint. It'll fit in just about anywhere you want to put it inside the model or inside your base. You have a lot of options with that, being the board is very small. And also what you get included with this kit is some LEDs. You have a little packet of green LEDs here with resistors, a packet of white LEDs with resistors, and a packet of red with resistors. In this little accessory bag here, we see we've got a switch, uh, a 9-volt battery clip and some ribbon wire if you choose to wire your kit up using that. So it's a really nice kit and very complete for 39 bucks. You can't beat it. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, start putting this together. I'm going to give you a close-up shot of the of the board so you can see what's on it and we'll get it wired up and we'll get it operating and show you how to do all that. Alright everybody, so here we are with our up-close look at the board and you can see it's a pretty simple uh, straightforward board. We've got some basic terminals here that we're going to use to make our connections at and I'll go ahead and point those out to you. If you can see this terminal right here marked V plus and this one at the bottom marked V minus, that is where our power supply comes in. So this board is set up to run at 9 volts DC so you can either use a 9 volt battery or a 9 volt uh, DC power supply. Now I don't have any numbers included with the uh, kit here as far as what this board consumes power wise but I would recommend probably at least a half an amp uh, power supply if you're going to be running just the board by itself. If you're going to use this board in conjunction with some other lighting and you're going to wire it all into the same circuit, I'd recommend something upwards of an amp or so, maybe 1.1, similar to what I use in a lot of my builds, the 1.1 amp, uh, 1400 milliamp seems to be a good number. Uh, the LED tape, I'm going to actually use this, this board in an upcoming build of mine. I'm going to be using a bunch of LED tape with it that likes to run at 9 volts so I can power everything the same. And uh, so I'll use a, probably like I mentioned, a 1.1 amp. Now you can use a high amount of amps. The board will only use what it needs. You just don't want to go over on the voltage. That will kill the board. That will burn it up. So uh, amperage wise, you're always better to go on the high side. So let me point out some, of, some more of the terminals here. What we see is we have the C and D terminal here and the A and the B over on this side. Now the C and the D terminal, that is where the positive side of your lights will connect on your uh, navigation side of the board. That's all your flashing navigation lights like your red and green lights. The positive side will will connect here uh, and you'll basically in between that connect the resistor for each uh, bulb. Now in this kit it's recommended on specifically the red bulbs. Uh, those come with 866 ohm resistors which typically red LEDs require a little bit higher resistor than, than other LEDs do. The white bulbs and the green bulbs that are included with this come with a standard 760 ohm resistor, but for the reds you want to make sure that you use that 866 resistor that's included. And uh, so we'll, we'll have our green and red uh, flashing lights on this side and our, our white uh, flashing strobe lights that flash at a faster rate and a faster clip over here uh, on the uh, uh, strobe light side. And you can see we have these A and B terminals here for that. And basically what that is is that uh, you're connecting the power side uh, on these uh, strobe light side and the positive side here at the C and the D for the navigation side. In both cases the ground for each side of those will connect to this V terminal. So you'll have a V terminal, V minus terminal coming off of this with your negative wire and you basically just tap into that wire there to get your uh, ground connections for each, for each circuit that you make off of the uh, navigation or strobe side. So. Uh, one other thing to point out here, these you can see we have these adjustable pots here. Those are to control the rates of speed for both the channels, for either the navs or the strobes. Now, Tenet Control states in their instructions here that these have been preset using an oscilloscope to match the timing that was seen on the screen for the TOS Enterprise or the Enterprise refit. So, 
Uh, we'll wire this up and turn it on and see if that's uh, to our liking. If not, we can always break these loose and make our slight adjustments. Or if you want to use this board on another model besides a Star Trek model where you need flashing lights, you may want a different rate of uh, blink than that, so you can you have the option of adjusting that to your liking. So with that, we're going to move forward here. I'll be back in just a second. We're going to have the board. We're going to start wiring it up, getting our solder iron warmed up as we speak. We'll come back and we'll start putting the board together and get it all connected and get it operating and show you how it works. Okay, everybody. Well, it's been about 15 minutes, and as you can see, I've got the board all wired up now. Uh, it was very easy to do, very straightforward, just following the instructions that are included with this one. And let me talk to you a little bit about how I've got it wired up. I mentioned earlier that I've got a 9-volt DC power supply that I was going to use to power this thing. And so you can see I've got that coming in here. Uh, the positive side is connected to the V plus terminal up at the upper right here. And at the bottom, we have the V minus terminal where we've got our ground coming in directly from the power supply. Over here on the right side of the board, we've got this little D terminal here. And that wire runs out, according to the instructions, right down here and connects to the positive side of our LEDs that we've got set up with a resistor in between that, of course, between the LED and the uh, power, so you don't burn those out. And then for the ground, we're picking that up right off of the uh, ground wire that's coming in from our power supply, and we're just tapped into that. Over here on the left-hand side, we've got the A terminal, and that's basically the wire that runs down here. And in this case, it connects to the negative side of the bulbs. So they're using the negative side to uh, control the flashing over here and the positive side on this side to uh, control the flashing on this set. We have the uh, uh, strobe lights on this side and the navigation lights on this side, which both flash at different rates. To pick up the power, we've got uh, our four LEDs here and we've got resistors in between connected directly to this little jumper wire that runs up and as you can see it's spliced right into the main power wire coming in and that's it. So it's pretty straightforward. Let me plug it in for you now so you can get an idea of the flash rate of this thing. I haven't done any adjustments at all on these adjustable pots that I mentioned. The flash rate on this looks uh, pretty nice to me and it looks just about spot on. I want to mention too in this case I'm using just standard white uh, LEDs instead of our normal red and green that you see for the navigation light, lighting on a, a Starship uh, Federation ship. So my plan is as, I'm, as I mentioned I'm going to be using this on the new 1350 scale uh, round 2 version of the classic Enterprise and so I'm planning on using two of these on this side for the flashing ion pod there at the rear part of the ship and I'll be using one red and one green at the top of the saucer and, and two whites on the bottom side of the saucer to get my navigation light flashing there at the front and uh, this is a nice uh, nice little board for doing that again $39.95 free shipping you can't beat that I got this one off of eBay but you can order it directly from Tenet Controls I'll put their link up here for you on the screen and uh, this comes with a five-year warranty it's a very inexpensive alternative again if you're going to build the uh, first or second pilot version of the Enterprise, the classic Enterprise that's coming out, this might be for you since you don't need the uh, uh, the uh, entire lighting kit that uh, I believe is not going to be separatable. You'll be you have to order the whole thing, which includes the spinning nacelles and all that. So that gets a little expensive, and this is a little bit uh, uh, more affordable way to go if you want to do lighting. Now, again, I mentioned it's running at nine volts, so I'll use this for my all my flashing, and I'll be able to connect directly off my power wires here and connect to all of my LED tape that I'm going to be using to light the window lighting of the model. So it's all going to work out really good. It's all going to be on the same circuit and it'll be nice and simple. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and until we come to you next time, happy modeling everyone.